Hello, my brothers and sisters. Today is May 30. Our topic is stress-free life. Stress-free life. My friends, the current pandemic really turned the world differently. Life has become uncertain. Young children became orphans due to the loss of parents. Many don't know where they buried and where they cremated their lost loved ones. Rich became poor. Life has no hope. Man's pride, riches, and glory became utterly vain. People are fearful even to mingle with their own family members. Life has become very complicated. There is no trust even in the air we breathe. No more courage to travel in the bus or train. Life has become chaotic. My friends, Ecclesiastes chapter 11 verse 6 says, In the morning sow your seed, and in the evening do not withhold your hand, for you do not know which will prosper, either this or that, or whether both alike will be good. My friends, I am not sure how long we will survive. How long is our lifespan going to be? How long is fear going to be? Nevertheless, the question is how to live a stress-free life. Number one, Ecclesiastes chapter 11 Verses 1 to 3, it says, Be good with people. My friends, because life has become uncertain and we don't know what will happen, let us be good with people. Let us not hate one another. Let us not gossip about one another. Let us try to help one another. Let us support one another. What's up all? We are going to take. Job says, naked we came and naked we will go back. So how to be stress-free? It's number one, be good with people. And number two, how to have stress-free life. Ecclesiastes chapter 11 verse 8, be reminded of God's care in the past. One of the main reasons for our stress and depression is to think, to fear over tomorrow. We have nothing to fear over tomorrow unless we forget what the Lord has done in the past. The Lord who began our journey is faithful even to finish it successfully. Number three. Ecclesiastes chapter 11, verse 10. Be happy. My friends, stress will never gain you anything. Stress will never help you build your house and family. Stress will never help you to raise your children. Stress will rather damage your peace of mind. Just remove your sorrow from your heart. Put away evil from your flesh because life is vanity and just sounding bronze. My friends, are you living in a stressful mode? Are you not able to be happy because of fear and complicated situations? Are you unable to focus anything because of your family and worldly situation? Here is the prophecy of Jesus. John chapter 16 Verse 20, most assuredly, I say to you that you will weep and lament, but the world will rejoice and you will be sorrowful, but your sorrow will turn into joy. My friends, remember, even your sorrow will pass on. God bless you. Let's pray. Father God, there are many people and there are many times people are living 
in stress and depression. Thank you so much, dear Lord, for guiding us to have stress-free life. Help us to be good with people. Help us not to remember what you have done in the past. And help us to be happy in our lives whatsoever happen, so that stress will run away from us. Thank you so much for those lessons, O oh Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen.